Hello and welcome to episode 44 of my Working in Todoist series. Although this series now is changing a little bit because what I want to do now is to take you through how to use Todoist with GTD in its purest form. So the title of this next five episodes is using Todoist as a pure GTD tool. Now, <clears throat> To, before we begin, one of the things that I think is very important, and this is a quotation that I, one of my favorite quotations from Picasso, which is, learn the rules like a master so you can break them like an artist. And what this means is, for me to learn anything, and I'm sure it's the same for most of you, is I need to start with the basics, learn the basics. And every year I always go back to the GTD book, the Getting Things Done book by David Allen. And usually in about December, I reread the book and it sort of refreshes my mind and reminds me the simplicity of GTD. And what I find is as the year goes by, I gradually complicate it more. And this is why I need to reread the book every year. So let's get into this. Uh, GTD, essentially, there are five steps to getting things done. And those five steps are capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. Now, these are a little bit ambiguous. So if I take these into uh, just a little bit more explanation. So capture basically means capture everything, every thought, every idea, every commitment. Capture them and as quickly as possible, because as you all know, our brains are not very good at remembering things. Number two, step number two is clarify. And clarify essentially just means asking the question, what is it? Uh, once you've been able to answer that question, you can actually do number three, which is organize, which is essentially asking another question is where does it go? <clears throat> number four is review everything. And as I've mentioned many times before, I do a daily mini review and I also do a full weekly review at the end of the week. And number five is engage, which just means do it. So in this first episode of my uh, using to do it in the purest form with GTD, I want to take you through the steps of capturing everything and setting up to do it. And I've, I know I've covered this in the uh, videos before, but I think it's always worthwhile refreshing uh, the steps of capturing everything and doing everything you can to set up your system so that capturing is as easy as possible. So let's go into Todoist. Right, so from the desktop version or laptop version of Todoist, let's have a look at the two quickest ways to, uh, or two simplest ways to enter tasks. First one, of course, is just click on Add Task, and we can type in, remember to set up Todoist for quick entry in Safari. And so that's the first one. Very simple. Uh, another one that you can do is what we, which is the quick entry uh, keyboard shortcut, which is shift command A, which brings up the quick entry box. And I can type in here, remember to set up uh, Chrome, because I do use Chrome occasionally for quick entry in Todoist. Um, now, with the quick entry, you can actually start adding in uh, the labels and uh, projects and so on. So I could type in at, uh, I'm going to do this in computer, um, and today, and let's put that in a project. I'm going to, I'm going to say inbox because, well, that's essentially where I want it to go. Um, and well, I can actually just type in, sorry, I'll do it this way. I can type in anything I really want to add in here, which I'm not going to do for now because um, that's just going to mess up my system. Uh, so that's actually to set it up in the in the program itself. Now, let's set up Safari. And in Safari, I don't know why I always do that. It's too slow. So in Safari, let's go to the Todoist blog and take the uh, Todoist tasks straight right from Slack. Now you have two options here. Uh, the first one is to download the uh, Todoist extension. Uh, to do that, you just go into Safari and I have it already set up. It's here in Todoist Preferences. 
uh, on my extensions to do is quick add 1.0 so that's one way to get that by the way all you do is go into safari um, and safari extensions uh, the second way is to set up your share sheet in on your mac which you do through preferences and as you've got i've got add to do is i can click on that what will happen is i get this little dialog box and i can just click add task uh, alternatively i click on the the extension it gives me the uh, blog and I can just hit return and straight in so as you can see in both cases I get a link directly to the website so if I click out of my Safari now and I just click on this one it opens up directly at that page so I don't really have to add anything to that one so that's Safari so I'll get rid of that one um, now if I go into Chrome um, Chrome is a is similar setup. You would get the application, uh, the apps. I've added Todoist as an app, so I can click on that, and it takes me directly, or should take me directly to my Todoist. Um, yes, it does. But I've got to log in, but I haven't logged in. But anyway, that's one way. But one of the key aspects of um, Todoist, I've got it up here as well, which will give me my list of things that I've still got to. <laughs> this hasn't updated for a while. Uh, as you can see, I don't use it very often, but you've got it up there. If I use this every day, it will be updating regularly. But the place that I use it most is in my inbox. So I've set up a, an email here. Don't forget to send this test email. So this is a test email for my Todoist. And all I have to do is, once you've downloaded the um, the extension or the application into your Chrome, you can just click on Add Todoist. And sure enough, it comes up add task. So I can just add the task. It's got now it's updated, by the way, if you notice here, it's updated in my Todoist. So I can get rid of that now. If I go back into my Todoist, I've got this here, which all I have to do is click on that and it will take me directly to my email, which is great. Now this is opened up in Safari. Uh, I was in Chrome, but sure enough, that email is there. Fantastic way for quick entry into Todoist. So those are the ones on your desktop or on your laptop. Now let's take a look at how we can do this on our mobile phones. Okay, so here I am with my mobile phone and as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner I have my Todoist and in my inbox, oops sorry, in my inbox I have my uh, all, all these setting up. Nice to see that I've actually set up Safari now so I can, uh, I've set up Chrome uh, I've set up Ferrari, um, I've done that, and, um, oh, missed it, sorry, uh, and again, by the way, I can click on that, and it will open up the internet and take me to Google Mail, which is quite funny, because um, I've never actually logged in on that, but I could sign in, and off we go, so that would be really cool. So, by the way, when you send an email via Gmail, it will actually open up quite naturally in there so to quick entry on your um, in your on your mobile device you can click on inbox and just add the plus button at the bottom and we can just type in this is a test uh, a task and now for me I just usually if I'm doing it from this screen I hit the add button in the top right hand corner because I do my mini review. However, there is another way um, uh, that you can do this, and I think this is really cool. And add the plus button there, which means that you can now start adding in more detail. Um, but you can actually add quite a lot of detail in directly from this line. So this is another test, another uh, test, and I can type in at uh, iPhone and i can type in tuesday and i th think i can oh can we do this now oh we can indeed we can add in the project as well so i can add in the project as well if i wished um so i can just add that task and sure enough it's all come up so that's one way of doing it uh i have shown in previous episodes another way of doing it which is i use uh, an application called drafts which i love um and um, because drafts for me is just um, it's a draft test um, because 
drafts to me is um, a really super cool way of just quickly adding tasks from the first screen because once I've added the task I own I can then take my time so that goes straight in and but if I'm having a brainstorming session you know sometimes you have those where suddenly all these amazing ideas come into your head another one to use I use anyway is my um, is my do note uh, if this then that note if I click on my to do is I can start adding tasks um, straight away so test one send I can send another one test two send uh, and all these are just going straight into my inbox test three bang just straight away they go straight into my inbox so now if I go into my to doist and into my inbox all these tests have come in and the idea remember when we're doing GTD is quick capture you don't want it to be a pain to capture tasks so this is really really important that you set up your phone to be the fastest way possible to capture a task and that is why taking a little bit of time to set up all the places that you work for quick entry is so important to success with GTD right there are just two more things I should mention about collecting before we move on the first one is to email uh, directly into your Todoist inbox now you with Todoist you can actually e email from uh, to any project but if you're following the purest GTD method then anything that you collect needs to go into your inbox and to do that what we need to do is go to our little uh, task actions icon on the left hand side of the inbox so task actions go down to the bottom and you'll see email tasks to this project if you click on that you get an email address which is here that you can actually copy and paste into your contacts list now I would suggest that you give it a title of Todoist you don't need to go Todoist inbox and this is another reason why I don't recommend using other projects uh, to email tasks directly into them because then you're going to get to do his project work to do his project home to and it's just going to go crazy my methodology and I strongly recommend that you do this is you keep it as simple and easy as possible so only use email directly to your inbox <clears throat> so once you've set that up we can go into an email and here's an email I had before and I can forward this email now to my um, to do it so click on forward and I can type in to do and to do is will come up because I do I use this a lot and once I've done that I can just click send and off it goes so that will now come into my to do is inbox it may take a few minutes uh, to do but it will come in to my inbox and I've got the full um <clears throat> I'm saying it might come in in a few minutes it does take a couple of minutes sometimes that's not to do his fault I must point out that is more likely to be uh, Gmail as opposed to to do is um, but anyway that will come in so that's one way now the other thing I nearly forgot when I was showing you for the iPhone you should also set up uh, to do is in the share share share, <laughs> share seat oh by the way there it is it's just coming you should also rec I also recommend that you use the share sheet whoa that is difficult to say share seat <laughs> share sheet into the uh, onto your uh, phone because then if you're reading an article that you want to collect something from later you can just click on the uh, share sheet and bang straight to Todoist okay let's move on so now that I've covered the desktop and I've covered your mobile device now I know whether you're using Android devices or Windows or any other kind of platform I still maintain that the most important thing is you spend a little bit of time setting it up so that capturing ideas and collecting all your thoughts and commitments has to be super super fast and super super easy um, because if not then it be creates a little bit of friction and any kind of friction in the capturing process is what is going to slow you down and it's going to stop you from quickly adding tasks as and when you need them 
Anyway, I hope that's been useful. That's been the first part of my using Todoist as a pure GTD tool. In the next episode, I will go through the processing and how I particularly process and how you should be doing it uh, from a GTD perspective. So until next time, I hope your week continues to be a productive week and I will see you in episode 45.